we see, people think only the white person did it. Everything we see. See an airplane? Oh, the white person do it. See an MRI machine in the hospital? You see a computer? They think it's only a white person can do it. But, you are looking at a person who created a technology for you to send pictures on your cell phone worldwide. You are looking at him. It's no longer news that the optic fiber that enables us to swiftly transfer data between mediums was engineered by a black man from the Gold Coast. Meet Dr. Thomas Mensa. Dr. Thomas Owusu Mensa, current president and CEO of Georgia Aerospace Systems and world-renowned pioneer in fiber optic technology. And he's not white. He's black just like you. He happens to be from Ghana. But I'm not limited by what I've been told in my school growing up and all. I'm limited by what I think I can do. So I want you all to think yourself that you can do anything that any person, whether Chinese, Indian, white, whatever they've done, you can do it. Born in the art of Kumasi, Ghana attended Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Aside being the pioneer of fiber optic manufacturing, he also contributed hugely to the manufacturing of nanotechnology. Thomas Mensa has got over 14 technological patents in his name and has officially inducted into the U.S. National Academy of Inventors in 2015. Where would we be without our smartphones? Some might be happier, but most of us probably couldn't even count how many times we use them to send pictures and video. And as we celebrate Black History Month, Don Baker joins us with a one-on-one -on -one interview with one of the engineers who is responsible for revolutionizing the Internet. Well, Dr. Thomas Mensa worked along with three other men, names you should know, Bob Moore, Don Keck and Peter Schultz to invent a laser fiber optic system back in the 1980s. They had no idea how it would change our way of life. Uh, without these four guys, the internet won't work because we invented a laser-based fiber optic system that allows anybody to send a picture to somebody else's cell phone. Without that invention, you cannot send a tweet, you cannot send an Instagram pictures, no Facebook. So we let Facebook, Google, and all those things happen because before we did it, everything was using copper. You would stand in front of ATM machine for about eight hours but now you go in and get things quickly because of the invention of fiber optics during that time how did you even think of this well I had come out of MIT as a chemical engineer and I was hired to solve a problem because they couldn't take the invention out of the laboratory and within six months I've solved the problem and made it feasible so that fiber optics could be cheap and it could replace copper wires throughout America. Yeah. Did you ever think we would live in a society now where we would all be walking around with computers and sharing this information? No, it, never, of times it, it, it never dawned upon us because right now in your pocket you have a computer that is more powerful than the computer that was that designed the Apollo rocket. So you can get all the information in the world on this computer. But the only way you can send anything, send a cell phone to somebody else's cell phone, is through the fiber optic system we created. Very, very important. And I want you all to repeat after me. The right stuff. The right stuff. The right stuff. The right stuff comes in black too. I am black. I am the right stuff. I can do anything that any white person can do. I am black. I am from Africa. I can do anything that any white person can do. The right stuff, the right stuff comes in black too. And I am black, and I can do anything 
that any white person can do. This is all we have for you today at the Just Group Media YouTube channel. Kindly let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section below. Till our next video, stay African and stay beautiful. Uh -huh.